Uh, so what did Valiant say in this response to the Citroen report? So they're saying that this report is erroneous. This report, uh, Citroen, they're a short seller. They have this newsletter. They basically said that this drug maker has this network of specialty pharmacies that it owns and super essentially controls, and that it's been either channel stuffing or making up fake sales. Um, what Valiant is saying, and, and one of the things that they cited is that there's you know four or five or six of these things, but yet they all share the same call number and they all appear to be related. This you know looks like evidence of fraud, so on and so forth. Valiant is saying that the reason that that is the case is because they all share a same common call center. They're claiming that this is legitimate and in fact that these sales are happening and it's merely a method uh, for them to distribute drugs outside of you know normal channels um, so it's not you know we, I don't think we have a definitive answer here as to who's, also, who's right I mean this is this is very very fast developing this afternoon and it seems like there are a lot more questions in terms of a Philidor sort of what is that company what is Valiant's relationship with it does it own it is it going to own it and then uh, what is RNO which is the company that is basically suing Valiant because Valiant wants money from RNO what does that mean I yeah, mean there's there a lot are, more there connect are a the number dots of that we're not answering questions this exactly and there are other short sellers out there and other people doing some research and raising additional questions that aren't in the Citroen report about, you know, d is is one of these companies selling drugs in a state where they don't have authorization? Mm -hmm. um, there's an, um, there's a lot of information out here that people are trying to confirm and digest or refute uh, definitively as fast as we can this afternoon. I should point out, yes, finally, Valiant has resumed trading. We are off the lows of the session, but still yet uh, a horrible 30% plus decline uh, on the day. And there is a, quite a lot of money at stake. I mean, Bloomberg Intelligence says you're looking at about 15% of Valiant's U.S. portfolio does come from Philidor, and that could be as, not, as much as $900 million. And that, at heart of it, is at stake. Yeah, I mean, I think the real question for Valiant here is that over the last several months, um, it's been attacked over the pricing of its drugs. Uh, now this question of specialty pharmacy is coming up. Really, so there's some very p fundamental parts of its business um, that are really in question. You know, it, they said on Monday that they weren't going to focus on getting products where they can jack up the prices mm -hmm. and sell them. You know, I mean, you're talking about a really significant shift in strategy that was announced just two days ago, and then all of a sudden the short seller report comes out and attacks some of the remaining parts of their businesses, that's really battering the stock today. And it doesn't help that it's, we just need to be clear on how does Valiant book its revenue at the end of the day? Do they make their money and they take their revenue and book it as sales when they sell you the drug in the pharmacy or when they put it uh, in inventory to be sold later? And that seems to be the core of the problem. Right. And they're saying it's the first thing, that they're only recording these sales once they're actually on their way to the patients, not doing anything like recording, recording sales that are for, you know, stuff held in inventory by these specialty pharmacies you know um, if that were the case that would be channel stuffing uh, there's been scandals in the industry you know before over the years over that and yeah they would definitely be facing some really serious questions a company that they bought Salix pharmaceuticals actually was in trouble for that very same thing mm -hmm. just about a year ago so this isn't something that has uh, never happened before in the industry in fact there have been a number of these problems and we need right. to get to the bottom of exactly what's happening at Valiant